Boys, can I just, before we get on for the rest of the show, can I just make a point here? Right, I'm sorry I'm, uh, you're going to see this. Mm. Oh, <laughs> i got to say, I haven't been myself today. No. Uh, <laughs> lots of things going on in my life. <laughs> I don't want to go there. You want to, uh, speak, you want to speak about it? Uh, no, no, I really sure. don't. Um, but all this talk at the moment, right, is doing my head in, and coaches included are doing it, about scrapping the six again rule. Now, in my opinion, the game has never been better and a major contributor has been the six again rule. There's, there's coaches out there saying, you know what, scrap it, there's too many six agains. Well, do you know what? Get your side on side, get their arms out of the ruck, clear the rucks out a little bit because I tell you what, if you scrap the six again rule, you know, with the way teams are defending and handling, the uh, way they're defending in the rucks and whatnot, there'll be 30 penalties a game. Because why was this discussion brought up? Because we weren't sure why these six agains were given. What they're, what they're saying is we don't know. What We wanted more of an explanation. Yeah. But if you give it's an too, explanation, it's going to stop the game. Too quick yeah, the stoppages, that. I reckon. Yeah. That's that's yeah. the big issue. Like If you, you scrap it, then all of a sudden you've got 1,000 stoppages and everyone's bagging the game is this again. Is stemming from the origin? From origin there has been a little bit from the Queensland. You're saying out there. Yeah, but in fairness, it's Melbourne Storm thing? Possibly. No, 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 no okay. No, 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 Leave them out of it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, because Smithy came out, Cameron, yeah. and said, oh, you know, I think you get rid of it. Well, part of the reason they did it is because Cameron, because remember they get a penalty and Cameron walk up and have a smoke <laughs> and have a discussion. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep the gun, uh, keep it moving. Keep it, yeah. and I'm, I'm really sorry you had to see that side of me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. I didn't. I didn't want your applause, but thank you. <laughs> now, <laughs> guys, which returning player is most likely to put their side on a big run to the finals? Well, there's two obvious ones this week that are returning. Tom, Tony uh, Trebojevic and Kalen Ponga. Uh, Tommy, I tell you what's interesting about uh, Tom Trebojevic. Selected, he selected in the, uh, in the centres. Um, and there's a bit of talk, you know, to, to lower you know, the stress uh, on the hamstring. But I see Kohler is at fullback. Yeah. It would not surprise me. Kohler is the centre if they switch. Because I'm really surprised. I, I thought Tom would return in the centres, but for Lehigh Hopawati. Because yeah, yeah. Lehigh has been outstanding. Well, he's on the bench, yeah. so he might be a cover for him just in case yeah, something goes be. down. Well, what would it, how would it work, though? He's out there. He goes, I'm feeling fresh. I can go back to fullback. They might oh, sw yeah, swap him around a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Yep. yeah. I remember so. a few years ago in that origin when he played in the centres, and they were kicking for him. And he'd go roaming, come into the middle, yeah. and they'd bomb for him. He'd go through, chase that, and then he'd just go back and rest out in the centres. Yeah, so him, and, him and Latrell were linking together. Yeah, and they were linking, and he was travelling when they were attacking. But I reckon it'd be good because it takes, yeah, the, the, the running capacity minimal, do you know what I mean? So it's better for him. You obviously have to make a few more tackles. Did you ever play fullback? Nah, no. never. Not fit enough. Did you, Nathan? <laughs> I mean, Braith did. <laughs> no, Nathan. Yeah, no, no. You played, you played no, every SG, position. SG Ball, no, I played every position, haven't you? No. You played 5 8 in Origin. I did. Yep. Barrett on, off, Hindmarsh on. Yeah. <laughs> you ever played fullback? No. It's a true story. No, I, I could think. thought about it. That would be the. Would you? No, I've never played fullback. No, no, Under the high ball, no way. Remember Braith? Remember uh, yeah, Brian Pat, Smith put him there? Yeah, oh, so it was Fred. Was it Freddie? Freddie, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fred, yeah, yeah. It was weird. Then he got a job with the NRL 360. <laughs> 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 what was worse? Uh, the other one, Caelan Ponga. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> Kirtler, uh, <laughs> Caelan <laughs> is uh, returning slightly ahead of time. Tell you what, boys, would not surprise me if he comes back and has a big game Sunday on the bench for State of Origin 3. Oh, definitely. He'll would, be there. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't you, would you pick him, Will? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. He played on the bench. One game. Remember when Teddy caught him? Yep. Yeah. He came on, he in, the, came on he, in the middle. He, he, he trained all week. Dominated he, us. Yeah, Trevor Gilmeister was just defending, defending. He went unreal because he just get the marker and just shoot out at the legs. And then he threw a dummy, went through and nearly won us the game. And Teddy mowed him down. But yeah, yeah I think he'd be right. unreal. That's right. He had Teddy one-on-one -on -one and went yeah. to go around the outside. The outside and he got caught. And then, yeah. um, But yeah, I think he'll be good. He adds a bit of leg speed if he does come on in the ruck. But what it allows is you can play two fullbacks. Imagine... Get to oh. the middle of the field, get into a 50, and you got Reese Walsh on one edge and you got Kalen Ponga on the other. He like, debuted on the wing, remember? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he the Cowboys. Yeah. The Cowboys. Mm. Uh, boys, uh, Cowboys and Manly on Fox League uh, Saturday night. Uh, Manly, been up and down, Manly. Uh, DCE and Luke Brooks back together again. They need to win this. They're outside of the eight. Cowboys, on the other hand, I tell you what, they have really flown under the, uh, the radar. They've really hit top form this season, but they've won five of their last six. Still got two buyers in hand and got a good run home. Yeah, so they're, they're behind a top four. And I think got plenty of footy left in them as well. 
Well, they've been so inconsistent all year. Look, they, they got away with it last weekend. They were both sides were under strength, them and Penrith last week. But they're, they're starting to slowly get their combinations right and, they're, and, they're, and what they need to be doing. But Well, six Origin players, they should be a top four side. Uh, Fletch, start of the year. Well, sorry, not the start of the year. About a month ago, you said, I've had a look at the uh, the draw from the Bunnies. Yes. After they had their first win. And you said, I reckon they can play finals football. Well, uh, I may have had an investment in it as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 What do they need? So, you did, you 13 did, wins. 13 did wins. Did historically, 13 wins yeah. uh, will get you How many in the eight. Is that? Uh, with, with the buys, about 32. Buys, yeah. Yeah. Yep. They need to win seven that. of their last nine. And that'll give you 13 wins. Capable. Very capable. Yeah. Uh, What'd you get him at? In that. Uh, <laughs> oh wow! Points. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> My wife and kids are watching. <laughs> they hey, even money, darling. I tell you what. I tell you, he uh, 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 played good for the for the Parramatta side. Young Charlie Geimer. On yeah. yeah. He looked... Isn't he good? Good. Good pick. And I think, you know, the position where the Eels are at the moment gives them the opportunity to play these young guys and see how they go. But Charlie, tomorrow, boy, good, tough, young player and didn't take a backward step all night. I thought you he was... You just tell he's a country kid. Yeah, yeah. meet yeah. three vegs. Yeah. Meet three, three vegs. He'd have a pair of moleskins. Yeah. He's got that good... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, think they... be, I think he'd be still getting around in footy shorts back home. I reckon he had his first schooner at no yeah, yeah. 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 He's got that robbly. <laughs> but he's got that. <laughs> I thought he was, he, was, he was absolutely great. He captained uh, Paramount Rescue Board or Grand Final last he year. So He'd have a ute. He'd have a dog in the back of the ute. Yeah. He'd have an Akubra. He would. Now, boys... Uh, tomorrow, they're saying that the uh, the announcement of the new Parramatta coach is imminent. They, they expect it possibly tomorrow. So uh, Jason Rolls, Josh Henno appear to be equal chance. Dean Young's bit, uh, slight outsider. But the guy from left field who's thrown his hat in the ring, expressed uh, interest late, has been your old coach, Brian Smith. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very, very interesting, Hindy. Well, I, I think it is. You know, I'd, look, uh, people are going to say Smithy's been out of the game for a long time, but I think coaching's a bit like riding a bike. You're, you're always going to stay in touch with it. Yeah. He's coached over 600 first-grade games. Yes, he hasn't had the success that the Eels are looking for. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, yeah. Smithy, Smithy knows what he's doing. Like all these candidates, they're you know, they're going to be great. Whoever they, whoever they get. But the hard thing is, like we as outsiders, we don't know what the club wants. We can we can speculate on what they want, yeah. what they need. Who do yeah. you want? You're a club. I, look, yeah, I was want? I was unaware that Brian that Smithy wanted the, the the go at it. But now that he's put his hand up, going well, I'd have cra- I I can't see an issue with that. Only because you can put him there for a few years. If things don't happen, you're not burning one of these young up and coming coaches. Sure. From their clubs they're already at. Yep, so I get that. But if they don't yeah. go Smithy, look, look, look Rolls, he would be right up there with my yeah. with my pick. Yeah. I've played with him, played against him, and I know he's I know what he does. Yeah. And yeah. and the fact that the Melbourne Storm, they've picked him as the man when when Craig, if Craig decided at the end of this year yeah. that's it, but he's not going to, but if they did, he was going in. Yeah. In a lot of ways for Parramatta, the Melbourne Storm have done the legwork there. Yeah. Yeah, and done yeah, the, yeah. 